Hello and welcome to 3 Dollar TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. You are watching The Coin Monitor. Cryptocurrencies traded marginally higher on Tuesday as investors braced for the latest commentary due Tuesday from Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. Some updates on the regulatory front are seen as a positive approach towards this highly volatile and hard to categorize asset class. In other news, Stark Wear, an Israeli company focused on Ethereum scaling, has partnered with Chainlink, a web free services platform to expand development on Starknet. The collaboration will also result in the formation of an economic network between the two entities. US Senator Tim Scott, the top Republican on the Senate Banking Committee, wants to start work on a bipartisan regulatory framework for cryptocurrency on 2nd February, he said in a statement. So far, Scott's brief on 2nd Feb's statement, which included digital assets regulation as one of his seven priorities for this new session of Congress, read as skeptical on the industry. Hong Kong regulators, on the other hand, are also upping their game in terms of monitoring the crypto industry's activities. According to a Securities and Futures Commission report filed on February 6, it intends to hire four new employees to better supervise the activities of local virtual asset providers. The stock market rally continued this week, with the Nasdaq leading the way higher amid major news from the latest Fed outlook. S&P 500 futures were up 0.2%, while Dow Jones Industrial Average futures were up 3 points or 0.02%. Nasdaq 100 futures gained 0.35%. A speech from Powell before the Economic Club of Washington on Tuesday remains top of mind for investors. Markets interpreted a slew of his disinflation comments during last week's post-meeting press conference as dovish and stocks rallied. Many view the appearance as an opportunity for Powell to offer more clarity on where rates are headed or clarify some comments made after last week's 25 basis point rate hike. IC15 index was trading at 33,318 points, up 1% in the last 24 hours. The global crypto market cap is $1.7 trillion, a 0.95% increase over the last day. The total crypto market volume over the last 24 hours is $51.38 billion, which makes a 1.86% decrease. The total volume in DeFi is currently $5.62 billion, 10.94% of the total crypto market 24-hour volume. The volume of all stablecoins is now $46.04 billion, which is 89.61% of the total crypto market 24-hour volume. But coins' dominance is currently 41.39%, a decrease of 0.06% over the day. Bitcoin was trading at $23,000, up 0.68%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 0.79%, trading at $1,643. BNB was up by 1.31% to trade at $330. Solana Sol was up by 0.50% and was trading at $23.37. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $20.1%. $18 up 0.93%. Next on the list, Polygon Matic was trading up by 3.60% to trade at $1.24. Despite other altcoins trading up, Dodge, the popular meme coin, was trading down by 0.83% at $0.091. Shiba Inu was trading down by 2.42%. Polkadot was down by 0.06% to trade at $6.6. Next on the list, Cardano's ADA token was down by 0.71% to trade at $0.38. Last on the list, Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.39, down by 0.33%. That's all in the Coin Monitor. This is me, Vishakha, signing off. For more such updates, keep watching 3.0 TV. Do like, share, and subscribe to our channel.